guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are new to the channel then a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel and also if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session which is a zoom session a regain your power session then you can contact me via my email or via my website my details are in the description box below and you know I've in the morning as well I posted my first little video and uh, you know the uh, the video which is all about uh, life little life's little pleasures in nature which I'll be doing every now and again on the channel just to share some videos as I talked about in my video yesterday so there will be a few more of those coming in and you know the one this morning was really about the dogs and it was just just really showing you know dogs are all about loyalty so that was a sign in relation to the journey as well about that loyalty but also to remind you to be playful you know to bring play into your life you know you saw that little puppy sort of playing around it was all and the bigger dog as well it all it's all about that you know being playful and not taking life too seriously that was the message that really came through as I was uh, doing that video, the angels saying, you know, it's about finding that play in your life and ensuring that you are having fun and you're enjoying your life, you know, not taking the journey too seriously or taking life too seriously. Love and, you know, enjoy yourself. It's the weekend now. Do things that you enjoy doing. Bring that play into your life. And that will help you to uplift your spirits as well, to raise your vibration. And raising your vibration is what is really good to help you to bring in the things that you desire. Because the higher your vibration, the more you can attract in the things that you're asking for the things that you truly desiring in your heart so um what we're going to do for this video we're going to bring in a few decks we're checking in with the energy we're about to move into the weekend so we're going to check in and see what is going on and bring in some messages as well uh, between the divine masculine and divine feminine so we're bringing in the sacred traveler today so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines really jumped out there Okay, and then thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Feminines? What is happening with the Divine Feminines? Okay, and we're also going to bring in the Twin Flame Oracle as well for the journey as well. So thank you, angels. What is happening with the journey? What is going on with the journey? Thank you, angels. What else is going on with the journey? Okay, so the cards that came out for the Divine Masculine, so a few cards really jumped out here. So the first card that came out is Crossing Bridges. So, and it says, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. So this is showing you what's going on with the Divine Masculine. They're going through this time of healing, this time of connecting, mending, and releasing. Releasing, that's about walking away from the things that no longer serve them. You know, that is the Divine Masculine, walking away from the things that no longer serve them, from the life that they've always had moving on to greener pastures to the life that they truly desire they are crossing bridges they're going through a time of healing a time of transformation as well moving towards that life that they truly desire and they are sort of connecting with themselves more as well connecting with their heart more as they cross that you know that bridge as they go from one life to the life that they are truly here to live so they are going through this time of healing and also also going through this time of rebirth, the time of transformation, the time of change from the life that they've always known to towards this new life as well which is much greener you know you can see that there is more sort of this healing happening as well as they go towards this new life and the next card that came out is stay focused and these cards really jumped out as soon as i was starting to do the reading you know they really jumped out about what's going on with the divine masculines and it's stay uh, stay staying focused so holds the course so this is showing you that the divine masculines are staying focused they know where they truly want to go they know where they where they are actually, you know, the life that they truly desire and they are continuing on their path. You know, you may not be able to see anything on the 3D yet, but they are staying focused. 
they are holding the course and moving towards the life that they truly desire. So the and the other day we had a card about the divine masculines not giving up. This is showing you that they are focused. They're not giving up and they are moving forward and releasing the things that need to go moving towards the life that they desire. And, you know, they've got the begin now card as well. Take your first step. So this is them taking their first step, beginning now to make changes that they need to make in their life so that they can be able to move forward on that pathway towards that life that they truly desire. You can see there is that pathway as well that is also leading to that green. So all that green, that's all about the healing as they go on their path, you know, this path of transformation as they move towards that life that they have that vision for, that they're staying focused towards. You know, they are taking their first step, but they're also going through this time of healing in their own life. That's the time of transformation as they move towards the life that they desire so the angels are showing you now are showing you here that they've taken they are taking their first step towards the life that they truly desire they are beginning now to make changes in their life so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they are dreaming of as well and the next card that came out is journey by moonlight for the divine masculines and it says believe it says believe in magic so this is really powerful as well. This is showing you that, you know, they are starting to understand that there is more to this universe than just the 3D everyday life, that there is magic in the universe. When you ask for the things that you desire, when you are more in alignment, when you are letting go of the life that you've always known, the life of fear of being really sort of, uh, you know, taken over by the 3D ma matrix, when you start to open up more as, a, as you know, you start to see See the magic that is happening in in this world you know they're seeing the signs and synchronicities that is like magic they are starting to believe in magic as they go through this transformation they are starting to see the magic that is there within the universe so they are on this journey towards that life that they truly desire and the next card that came out is the mystic healer and it says healing energy flows through you so as they go through this time of transformation they are also starting to realize that they are here to do bigger things you know that they are a healer for some divine masculines they may actually be energy healers or they may heal other people in all sorts of different ways they are starting to understand that this energy that comes through from the creator that flows through them you know energy is always flowing it flows through them and to help them do what they're truly here to do to move forward towards their mission you know and their purpose so they are understanding that there is energy that flows through them so that they can be able to use their gifts, you know, the energy and the, the gifts that they have to be there to heal other people. So they are understanding all these things and you know and there is the pleasure pay, 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 passion and pleasure card passion and pleasure savor your life and the divine masculines are really starting to realize as well here that they want to have that life that you know uh, where there is passion and pleasure you know they want to walk away from the things that no longer serve them the life that they've always lived where there is all this struggle and you know they're not really in the place of enjoying their life they want to be able to savor the life you know to enjoy their life to live their life passionately to just to truly live the life that they know that they truly desire you know with the love and the passion and all the things that they desire to live a life where they find pleasure and enjoy their life so this is what they truly desire they are working on themselves they're moving forward towards their new life to, towards this passion and pleasure and they also know that they will find this passion and pleasure with their divine feminine this is why they're making changes in their life so that they can be able to move forward crossing the bridge from the life that they've always had to the new life and that new life will be that life with their divine feminine as well so that they can have that passion and pleasure in their life and the cards that came out for the divine feminine so a few cards have come out here so the first one is rainbow blessings so the angels and it says blessings are showering your life so divine feminine this is about you remembering that you are blessed on a day-to-day -day basis you know you just waking up and you know on this day to see this day i actually put 
a, um, uh, you know, something like that on my v or on my U um, Instagram today. That's the one, Sandra, get it right. On my Instagram today, I actually put, it was all about being grateful for life. You know, when you just wake up, be grateful for this day, for the fact that you've woken up on this day. And, you know, you are blessed to be alive on this day and to see this day, which is, you know, it just comes once. You're never going to have this day again. So it's about counting your blessings and always being grateful, living your life in gratitude. Blessings are showering your life. So it's about noticing all those blessings that are in your life and really sort of giving that gratitude to the universe. And the next one is choosing your path. And it says all is possible. So divine feminine, the angels are saying here, this is about you realizing that all is possible with the creator, everything and all is possible. And, you know, you're choosing your path right now, walking away from the life that you've always lived. You know, as you go on your spiritual path, you are choosing a path that is going to bring you all the things that you are asking for. And you are starting to understand that with the creator, with the universe, universe everything and all is possible so you're choosing a path that is leading you to that life that you are truly here to live so all is possible so it's about you knowing that all is possible and also trusting in that all is possible including that union as well with your divine masculine and the next card that came out is the gates of triumph and it says success expands in your life so the angels are showing you here divine feminine that all is possible and you know success is expanding in your life you're going to have all the things that you truly desire it's like that gates the gates of triumph are opening they're opening you towards this new life where there is like the bright future you know all the things that you desire are coming in that's like the sunshine which is all about happiness so the angels are showing you here that success expands in your life keep moving forward on this path as you choose your path this um this spiritual path on which everything is possible that is going to lead you towards success expanding in your life bringing in all the things that you truly desire including that union as well with your divine masculine really beautiful cards for the divine feminines cleansing waters as well this is about purifying your life re getting rid of the things that no longer serve you the things that no longer serve you as you go on this path that you've chosen which is your spiritual path that's about leaving the negative leaving the negative people situations and you know leaving things that you know no longer serve you and really sort of moving forward on your path being focused on positivity on the on the dreams that you have on on gratitude on raising your vibration on enjoying your life as well so this is about purification and also about being in flow you know letting go of trying to control things but really getting into this place of being in flow knowing that you've got the love and the backing and the guidance of heaven to help you of the creator to help you on your path so you are sort of going through this time of being more in flow and not trying to force anything and purification activates like vibrant life force so this is about purification. This is about cleansing your life of the things that bring your life force down, you know, the things that sort of drag you down, the negative situations that drag you down. It's about purifying your life, cleansing your life of all those things and leaving them behind as you continue on your path, on your spiritual path, on your path to the life that you truly desire. So purification activates vibrant life force. And when you let go of all those things that drag you down, then your life force becomes more vibrant and it's activated and you raise your vibration as well, which is what helps you to attract all the things that you truly desire. And the last card that came out is embracing enthusiasm. And it says, shout to the heavens with happiness. So divine feminine the angels are saying shout to the heavens with happiness a success is coming into your life you know a success is expanding into your life the gates of triumph are opening it's about you being grateful there was another card about blessings so you can really see the message that's coming through here for the divine feminine be joyful in your life you know do the things that bring you joy and be be in this place of understanding that with the creator all is possible all the things that you truly desire are coming in the gates of triumph for opening so be in this place of shouting to the heavens with happiness and gratitude as that is what is going to help to bring in 
all the things that you are asking for. Really beautiful cards for the divine feminines. And then the cards that came out for the divine, uh, for the journey from the twin flame oracle, the divine masculine is awakening. So the angels are showing you here, there were only three cards that your divine masculine is awakening. So, you know, continue to be in this place of shouting to the heavens with happiness, knowing that the things that you're asking for are coming in at the right time for you. Your divine masculine is awakening. They are walking on their path, walking away, crossing the bridge towards their new life, towards that life with you. They want to have that passion and pleasure. And they are work, walking towards that as they awaken, they're understanding things more. They are moving forward towards you. So the angels are saying divine masculine is awakening. So be joyful in your life, divine feminine, raise your vibration. The more you raise your vibration, the more you attract in everything that you desire because you are manifesting right now. So you're manifesting and the more you are in this place of gratitude and joy and, you know, and, and really feeling good and positive and optimistic about everything that you desire, knowing that all is possible, the more you're going to bring in all those things that you, des you desire. So raise your vibration. You are manifesting. And the last card that came out is the power and strength card. So this is about standing in your divine feminine power and standing in, you know, be and your strength as well to strength, to continue on this journey, you know, to trust that everything will come in for you at the right time and know that you are a warrior of love. You know, you are following your hearts, your heart. And, you know, you are working on that unconditional love, understanding that everything comes in at the right time for you. But you're the warrior of love. You stand strong. You stand in your truth. You stand in your power as a divine feminine. And you stand as that warrior of love, trusting and having faith that everything is going to come in at the right time for you. So we are going to bring in the divine lover oracle as well to see what the angels who, or your divine masculine would like you to know today. So thank you, angels. What message? is coming through in relation to the journey today okay so the cards that came out so the first one is let go of fear and it says you are safe with me have no fear of making mistakes nothing you do or say will ever make me stop loving you there are no mistakes on this journey only soul lessons is stay it's safe to be vulnerable with me so i really feel that this is your message as a divine feminine to your divine masculine saying to your divine masculine let go of fear keep moving forward towards me you can move forward towards me and let me know how you feel let go of the fear because you are safe with me so you it's like your higher self calling to your divine masculine the other day we had a card about you know your heart is calling to them this is your saying to your divine masculine have no fear for making mistakes everything that has happened on this journey and you understanding that as well it was all happening for your soul lessons for both you and your divine masculine to help you both to grow and you're saying to your divine masculine it's safe to be vulnerable with me so it's about you saying to them it's okay to open up and be vulnerable with me and the next one is you are mine. We were meant for each other. So this I really feel is more from your divine masculine saying to you, you are mine. We were meant for each other. There is no one else in the world who could ever replace you. We were made to be together. Repeat this affirmation. I am yours and you are mine. And so it is. So this is a message from your divine masculine as well to give you that strength to keep going forward as a divine feminine, to really trust and know that you are meant to be together. And, you know, and they are saying to you, no one else could ever replace you. So it's about you continuing to stand in your truth, to stand for that love as that warrior of love, knowing that nobody else can ever replace you for your divine masculine. This is why they are going through that awakening. This is why they're walking away from the life that they've always known, going through a transformation, moving forward towards you because they know that no one else can ever replace you with you that is where they will have that passion and that pleasure in their life so they are saying to you i am yours and you are mine and so it is really beautiful messages so we are going to bring in as well the divine masculine messages of love to see what they would like you to know today so thank you angels what do the divine masculines want to say to the divine feminines today 
and then also a divine feminine message to the divine masculine thank you angels what messages are coming through from the divine feminines to the divine masculines today what messages are coming through from the divine feminines okay so let's see what cards have come out here Ha, so I am transforming. So your divine masculine is letting you know that they are transforming. There was a card from the angels about the journey saying divine masculine is awakening. There's a card of them walking away from one side of the bridge to the other, their old life to their new life. And they're saying to you today, I am transforming. So, you know, they are moving forward towards you as they go through this transformation. That is them moving forward towards you. And they're also saying, please forgive me. So they are asking for forgiveness for things that they may have said things that they may may have happened before you know which is why a card from your higher self came out saying that you know there are no mistakes they're only lessons so for soul growth so you know they are asking for your forgiveness as well and they are also saying nobody compares to you so nobody compares to you there was a card about nobody replaces you you know they know that there's only you for them so they are saying nobody else compares to you and I I am making this, I'm going through this transformation so that I can move forward towards being with you because nobody else compares to you. Only you will ever do. So they're also saying there is nobody else that compares to you. Only you will ever do. This is why they're making changes in their life. This is why they're moving forward towards you. And they're also saying, I hope we can start again. So your divine masculine is saying to you today, I hope we can start again. They would love to start again with you because for them, there is nobody else who can ever be, who can ever replace you. No one else will ever do. And you know, there is no one else like you and nobody compares to you. So they are saying, I hope we can start again. So they're asking for your forgiveness and they're hoping you can start again, letting you know that they're going through this transformation so they can be able to move forward towards you. And your answer to your, your answer to your, um, your message to the divine masculine is, I see signs about you constantly. So you're saying, I see signs about you constantly. I'm constantly reminded by you, by the universe. And you're also saying, you melt my heart, which is really beautiful. So, you know, as they tell you that, you know, no one else will ever do this, only you and all the messages that and that they really wish you can start again. You're saying you melt my heart. That is from that love that you have for your divine masculine. That be that warrior, be stand in your power as that warrior of love, because, you know, that love is what is going to help you to come together again. So we are going to bring in my two of my decks to finish off. The Divine Masculine opens up to see what else they would like you to know. So thank you, angels. What do the Divine Masculines want to say to the Divine Feminines today? What do the Divine Masculines want to say today? And we're also going to bring in the Divine Masculine Takes Charge Affirmations as, and see what they would like to say as they go through this time of transformation, how they're taking charge. So thank you, angels. What do the Divine Masculines want to say to the Divine Feminines today? What do the Divine Masculines want to say to the Divine Feminines today? Okay. Say any other message from this deck? Say any other message coming through from this one? Okay, that's that then. Okay, so the cards that came out from the Divine Masculine, from the Divine Masculine opens up. The first one is, this love that I have for you is not like love that I've ever felt before for anyone else in my life. No one re is, no one can replace you. There is nobody else like you. And this is what they're saying again in different, in a different way here. This love that I have for you is not like love that I've ever felt before for anyone else in my life. It is intense. It is scary, yet also amazing and beautiful. This is a once in a lifetime type of love. So your divine masculine is really starting to understand that there's nobody else like you. Nobody else can ever replace you because this is a once in a lifetime type of love. This is why they're going through this time of change. This is why they are transforming and awakening because they know they want to have this love with you, their divine feminine. They know that they want to have this love and have that passion and that pleasure in their life because they can never get that anywhere else so they are saying it can it is intense you know this is why they run away it is scary this is also why they run away but it is amazing and beautiful and they are understanding this and they want you to know this 
and they're also saying and i'm really struggling to work out how to start a conversation with you but i want to talk to you so badly so they're also letting you know that they want to talk to you but they're struggling to know how they can start that conversation you know this is why they're saying please forgive me as well so these are things that they're trying to work out in their own mind you are my inspiration and I am very grateful for you. Without you even realizing it, you motivate me to do bigger and better things with my life. So your divine masculine is saying you are motivating me to do bigger and better things in my life. You're motivating me to make changes, to go through a transformation, to awaken and change my life, walk away from the things that no longer serve me. You may not actually know it or see it on the 3D, but you are my inspiration and you are actually encouraging me without you realizing it to change my life for the better. And they are grateful for this. So they're saying, I am really grateful. They are grateful for you, their divine feminine. And they are also saying, I am in awe of you, of your beauty, your power and strength. So really, really powerful. And you know, this is where that warrior of love, this is you as that warrior of love, the divine feminine with your divine feminine power and your strength to keep moving forward on this journey. You know, even when you get knocked down, you keep standing strong and continuing on your path this is your divine masculine realizing this and they are saying to you i am in awe of you of that beauty you know your beauty there is nobody else that compares to you that power that is within you as your divine feminine power and the strength that you have to keep continuing with everything that goes on in your life so they are in awe of you and the cards that came out from um the divine masculine takes charge. So the first one is I am courageous. So the divine masculine is saying I am courageous. I am courageous enough to make the changes that I need to make in my life so that I can be able to change my life so I can move forward towards you, my divine feminine, because there is no one else like you. So they are saying I am courageous. And they're also saying I am speaking to myself positively at all times. So they are also starting to speak to themselves positively may not be at all times but they are speaking to themselves pos positively now because they know that 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 is what is helping them to change their life so that they can be able to move forward towards you so i am speaking to myself positively at all times they're realizing that the more they speak to themselves pos positively the more they actually bring in that life that they truly desire i am in love with my divine feminine how beautiful and powerful is that they are letting you know that i am in love with you my divine feminine and i am moving forward towards you so this is why they're making the changes in their life and they're also saying i am finding balance in all areas of my life so they're working on finding balance in all areas of their life you know balancing their life in all sorts of things you know in within themselves in their own energy and in, in their own 3D life as well, because the more they are balanced, the more they're going to help to bring in that life that they truly desire. So as they go through this transformation as well, they're working on getting more balanced in their life so that they can be able to move forward towards you because they're saying, I am in love with my divine feminine. I hope you have a great day, guys. Absolutely beautiful messages. And I hope you have a great weekend as well. I'll see you on the next video Monday. Love, peace, positive positivity and light.